Good morning. How is my precious? Did you sleep well? Of course I want to know. Ever since that night you had some trouble sleeping. Sometimes you seem to have nightmares. And you toss and turn around. But I'm here to calm you down again. How do I do that? Well, I just hold you really tight. Usually you slowly calm down again. Your breathing gets a lot softer. And you hold me gently. And I whisper in your ear. Everything is fine. And sometimes I wrap my fluffy tail around you. Or better said, I cover you up with it as much as I can. It seems to help a bit too. I have never liked these features of me. My tail, my ears. But you like them. So I don't mind them at all anymore. I actually started liking them as well. Well, and it feels really good when you pet me or scratch behind my ears. Mmm, that's heavenly. I could... Mm, fall right back asleep like this. But I also know you have some work to do. <laughs> Let's see, we'll stay five more minutes and then get up. Sounds good? I think it does. Basically, I decided that for you. No back talk. <laughs> I absolutely love cuddling up to you like this. You have given me so much, how could I not like this? Okay, okay. Do you want to know the real reason why I cuddle up to you that much? It's because you're cute, adorable, and because I love you. Yes, I do. We have been through a lot together, and you were by my side all the way no matter how bleak things seemed. I could always count on you. This didn't just give me a huge deal of gratitude towards you. But I know I can trust you. And I'd do anything for you. to give you everything I can possibly offer. No matter what it is, just say the word and I'll do my best to make it happen. Like for example now. What would you like to have for breakfast, my love? I can prepare you something. Sure, I'm not that great of a chef or something, but I tried my best to learn. What could I prepare? Well, first off, would you like some tea or coffee? Maybe something else entirely. Okay, I'll remember that. If you're hungry, I can make some pancakes, bacon and eggs, maybe some toast. Maybe just some fresh fruit salad or oatmeal cold cuts and some cheese? Yes, I definitely can prepare that. And don't worry, 
I won't cause chaos in the kitchen like the first time I made food. You can take your time getting ready, and I'll prepare everything for you in the meantime, okay? Great. I'll be in the kitchen then. One for motivation. Oh, there you are. I'm there right away with your breakfast. Here you go. Hope you'll enjoy. I'm glad I can help you out a bit. Even if it's just this. I know it's a bit difficult lately, financially speaking. Not just because you have to take care of me too. I wish I could go out there and maybe get a job as well. A bit of extra income would surely help. But, well, there my extra parts come into play again. People would freak out if they see me like this. See me... I could say I'm a cosplayer? Wait... Cosplayers are... Uh, you told me this. Don't, don't say it, I'll remember. I'll remember... Oh, like being a costume of a character, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if that would be enough to convince people. But I'd like to do something else to help you. First I'd have to find something I'm good at, though. Oh well. Something will come to mind eventually. If the world knew about us. Well, it would help if they would accept my kind. At least that way, we wouldn't need to hide anymore. I don't think that will happen anytime soon. It's not that I want to sound pessimistic. I just can't imagine that happen yet. I'm sure you have accepted me. Without a second thought, too. But we can't be sure what other people will say. Or more importantly, how they would react. Well, I do look very similar to a human. But for example, something like Lamias, Arachnes, Mermaids or Mermen. Those are quite different. Still humanoid, but how would they be accepted? Well, you live together with a werewolf, so you wouldn't even mind the others. Maybe. Yes, true, there was the scent of an arachna in that cove you have been in. Hope nothing happened to it. Maybe you'll see it? Well, I wouldn't say there's no possibility, but they are very, very shy and fearful. And no one gets to see them that much at all. I'm sorry. I just bombarded you with my thoughts again. How is your food? I hope you like it. <laughs> Yay. I'm happy. Sorry, I can't stop my tail from wagging when I'm happy. Oh my, look at the time. You have to get going? Well, I like it more when you're here, but that's okay. I know this is important. I'll be here waiting for you like always. Take care, my love. <laughs>